I'm going to show you how to make a volume control slider in Unity the right way. So there is a standard method of doing this uh, where you make a, a user interface slider and you give it a value range of minus 80 to 0, uh, which matches the audio mixer fader range. Uh, and you hook it up with a exposed parameter. And this works, kind of, except that there's a major issue that's overlooked in the standard method. Um, and that is that the slider value range is linear, while the uh, mixer fader range is logarithmic. And now what this does is it makes a slider that's far too sensitive. When you turn the slider down to half, uh, you get a value of minus 40 decibels, which is way off where half would normally be, minus 6 decibels. Uh, luckily though, it's easy to fix by converting the linear slider value when you set it. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So how to set up the slider with a smooth, even volume control. So I have an audio clip that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to make a mixer. I'm just going to call it Music Mixer. And I'm going to add an audio source. Add my clip and output it to the mixer. Great, so now I need to add a slider to control it with. So I'm going to create UI slider. And what I'm going to do is instead of the minimum value of zero and one, I'm going to have a minimum value of 0 0.0001 and one. And that's quite important because uh, having it go all the way down to zero will will break this uh, when it goes to nothing. So it needs to be 0 0.0001. What I then need to do is expose the value of the mixer fader to scripting. So I could do that by selecting the uh, mixer group. There's only one group for master mixer. Um, and when it appears in the inspector, right click on the volume value and expose volume of master to script. Now in the audio mixer panel in exposed parameters, you can see that's there and I can just rename that to music vol. So what I'm going to do now is create a script to control the uh, mixer fader from the slider. So I'm going to put that on the slider, add components, and I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it set volume. So create an add, and then I'm going to open that up to edit it. So there are a couple of things I need to do here. First of all, I need to add a namespace to this script so that we can use uh, mixer specific functions. So I'm gonna to go to the top of the script, make a new line and type using unity engine dot audio. And then I'm gonna take this out because I don't need it. Actually, I'm gonna take all this out because I don't need it. Going to declare my audio mixer and just call it mixer. And then I'm going to write a function, a public void function called set level. I'm going to give it a parameter, a float parameter. I'm just going to call that slider value. Okay, so now I just need to type mixer. So that's the audio mixer we're referencing and call set float. And then this takes two parameters, a name of the float set and then the value. So the name that we give it is the name of the exposed parameter that we set earlier on uh, because it's a string that will be double quote marks, and I remember that that was music fall. 
So that's which float we're going to set. And then this is normally when you'd pass in the uh, slider value directly. So uh, in in the standard method, you just you just put the slider value in like that, and then there you're done. Uh, obviously, that isn't going to work um, for this because we want to convert it to a logarithmic value first. So instead of just directly setting the value, we're going to convert it using mathf dot log 10 and then the slider value close parenthesis times by 20 whoops times by 20 so what this does is it represents the slider value as a logarithm to the base of 10 which is what we need to do because this is decibels uh, and then multiplies it by a factor of 20 what this will do is, is this will take our 0 0.001 to 1 slider value and turn it into a value between minus 80 and 0, but on a logarithmic scale. So I'm going to save that, close it, and come back to Unity. So I need to, in the inspector, connect my mixer. And then on the slider in the on value changed field, I need to create uh, a new function and I need to drag that to there and then find set volume and dynamic float set level. So you can see this also appears down here, but the one you want is dynamic float. If this doesn't appear in dynamic float, one, check that you've made the, the function public to check that it only takes one float parameter uh, because if it doesn't it won't appear as a dynamic float then i'm going to save Ooh, hello. there we go and test it okay, so here's my slider at full volume it's about half it's about minus seven, so it's a little low for the half. There we go. Smoothly, all the way down to nothing. I can bring it up again smoothly. And that's it. Uh, for full written instructions for how to do this, there's a post uh, on my website if that's not already where you are watching this video. Uh, for more articles, videos, stuff like this, sign up to my newsletter at johnleonardfrench.com.